Hey friends, good morning. This is Abhishek from TechWirus and in this video I'll be reviewing Windows 10 with all its new features and what all drawbacks we have and also I'll be showing you the gaming performance played on this Windows 10. So first of all, let me show you the configuration of this PC. If I right click on this PC and properties, it will tell like I have Windows 10 Pro Edition. So just to let you know that I have a credit from Windows 8.1 to Windows 10. If you want to see the process, how to do that, just click on the link which is mentioned on the left hand side and the description below. Okay, the system configuration it has i7 processor 4790K, it has 250 GB of SSD, 8 GB of RAM. The graphics card which is installed on the system is NVIDIA GTX 970 with 4 GB of DDR5. If you want to know the complete configuration of this PC, just go to the description below. You will have all the hardware and software details. Let's quickly move to the first topic. The first topic what we have is the start menu. If I click on start menu, you can see that they have completely redesigned the start menu now. We, on the left, we have the application. On the right, we have tiles. These are the program which used to run in a separate window in Windows 8 or 8.1. Now, they have integrated in the start menu. And this looks really cool. And you have option to dynamically increase the width of this particular start menu. Like, I can expand it to the right or contract on the left. So this is really good feature if you have lots of application then you can keep your start menu expanded if you have less application you can keep it narrowed. On left panel we can see there are two more things first one is the most used application and second is the recently added so this will help you to track your application easily. Now the most important thing is all apps here you can see this is similar to Windows 7 or any other previous version before Windows 7 we have all programs in this scrolling bar. This was not present in Windows 8 or 8.1. And now when you click on any alphabet, it will give you a list of alphabet with the programs installed. If you click on any alphabet, it will give you the same alphabet and you can track your program or application easily. So this is very fantastic option what Microsoft has given in start menu. If I click on back, I can see we have power option as well. In Windows 8.1 or Windows 8, the power option was on the right pane. If I take my mouse on the right side, we don't have that right menu appearing up as in Windows 8, it used to pop up from the right side. Now we have power option here. Next we have this file explorer. If you click on file explorer, this will open the file explorer. It's similar to Windows 8, 8.1, there's not much change. Uh, maybe in ribbon we have few more options, but otherwise file explorer looks same. Okay, so let's see what else we have in the start menu. We have the settings option. I'll be talking about the setting option later in this video. Let's look at the search feature of Windows 10. If I click on search, like if I type anything, for example, movie, then I will be getting multiple options. Like first, what is there in the local system? What apps available in the app store? And then what is available on web? If I click on my stuff, it will show only things which has movie tag in my system. And if I click on search on web, this will open your default browser. Now, as you know that we don't have Cortana in India, so we don't have Cortana option here. If I go to settings, you see that Cortana is off and it says it will be coming soon. Okay, so this was fantastic search feature what we have with Windows 10. Let's move to the next topic. That's the apps on the desktop. Yes, now you can open these apps like Windows Store app on your desktop. You don't have to go into the tablet mode. You can directly work it on your desktop. If you remember in Windows 8, 8.1, if you open any app, it should open in different page altogether. But you can use it here as of now. And you can just expand it to the full screen and then you will see all the menu, whatever it was in the tablet mode. Now, if I want to exit, just right click. You have options in bottom to close it. If I close it, then I can come back to the desktop as normal. Okay, let's move to the next topic that is multiple desktop. Yes, this is one of the best feature of Windows 10. If you see this task view option, if you click on it, you will see multiple desktop option, desktop one, desktop two, and the right hand side, we have new desktop. This will add new desktop. When you click on plus, it will create desktop three. And when you click on desktop three, this will open entirely new desktop, which is different from desktop one. So let me open few application here, like my computer, and then let me open 
browser then let me open some few more things like let me open YouTube on this browser and then uh, okay so let me go to old desktop desktop 2 so now you can see in this desktop we don't have anything that's completely blank let me open 3d mark 11 this is in the desktop 2 and in desktop 1 we don't have anything so let me open Microsoft Edge and okay so now we have different application open on different desktop so if I want to switch from desktop 1 to desktop 2 I just need to click on that task view click on the number of desktop what you want to go desktop 1 2 3 so this is similar to your Mac OS where you can add multiple desktop and you can independently work on each desktop so this is fantastic feature we can have lots of multitasking here so that's all about multi window or multi desktop feature of Windows 10 so let's move to the next topic in this topic we'll be talking about the settings option they have introduced a new settings option in start menu and here you can see different icons and different options they have made uh, your life easy by keeping everything at the same place for example if I click on system we have all information or options to change the system display app multitasking like snap views virtual desktop power sleep storage offline maps default apps so for example in default apps if I'll show you like here it says browser Microsoft Edge if I click on this it will ask which browser you want to use as default so you can select that and in about you will see all the information about your windows product key type of windows your system information so those things will be available in system now similarly we have same options in uh, like network and internet and if I go to privacy we have change privacy options then location then camera microphone speech linking typing account info contacts calendar messaging other devices feedback background apps and this is one of the interesting thing that's background app you can actually turn off the application which is running in background is similar to your phone so this will really help to improve the performance of your system and data usage now we have update and security here in Windows update we do not have option to turn off the update so there are only two options notify and automatic so these are the options we have under advanced option and update settings so let's move to the next topic now in this topic we will be talking about a small announcement what they have made in the command prompt if you type in CMD in the search box you will get this command prompt and here you can see that they have designed this command prompt in 2015 they've updated it now and the best feature is that you can use control V and control C option directly from the keyboard you don't have to go right click and use menu and then paste it for example if I copy this from my browser and I'll just press control V control V control V V and it's pasting very easily so this will make uh, many system admins life easy to type in any command or execute any of the query so that's really good feature it's a small feature but it counts and let's move to the next topic that's phone companion in the search box if you type in phone companion you will see this application if you click on this you will get three options Windows Android iPhone so basically what you are doing here is like you're syncing your Windows Android and iPhone with Windows 10 so if I click on Android this will give me different options under Android you can see that we have these options like get Cortana on your phone automatically upload your photos to your phone listen songs what you love from any device and then to-do list Skype call word you can call from your mobile to your laptop without using internet just over Wi-Fi so those features are there and I still need to explore them I will be exploring one by one few of them are showing as coming soon and what I've seen like you need to use same account like same email address on both the application then it will sync they basically uses cloud computing here like they will be saving your data to their cloud and then they will be syncing in your phone so that's all in this topic let's move to the next topic 
In this topic, I'll be reviewing one game on Windows 10. Let's play Assassin's Creed Unity. So to show you like I have not changed in incompatibility, I'll just right click on this game and I'll go to properties and then I can show that in general shortcut and compatibility. I have not changed anything. It's still running on Windows 10. I'll cancel this and I'll double click on Assassin's Creed Unity. Now you can see that Assassin's Creed Unity is getting loaded. Okay, so you can see on top left the frame per second, the GPU usage and the PC usage, the temperature, all information is there on the top left. I can tell you that I'm running at approximately 18% utilization of graphics card and frames per second is around 60. Okay, so I'll just click on continue and then I'll skip the load part and I'll directly jump into the game. So here you can see that frame per second is approximately 48 or 42. I've increased the settings to max. The graphic setting is at max. Everything is at max. It's running at 1080p. And the graphics card utilization is at 98%. And I don't see any lag in this game. This game is running very smoothly. Alright, so this is the gaming performance on Windows 10. Alright, so this was my video review for Windows 10. I hope you liked my video. If you like, do subscribe my channel and give a thumbs up to this video. Have a nice day ahead. Bye-bye.